Hello from Four Biology, video number two, chapter number five. Okay, start again. Start again. <laughs> okay, last week our last video talked about metabolisms. 这种叫新陈代谢 anabolisms, catabolisms, 两种的 metabolisms. So today we're going to continue for another long title enzymes. 今天我们要继续另外一个单词，就叫 Enzyme, okay, 很长的代词 okay, but it's a good 代词啦，很好的代词 okay. So enzyme, what's mean by enzymes in Chinese? 他们叫酵素 okay, 酵素，安迪做的酵素 okay, 你买回来吃的酵素 enzyme okay. Or what is mean by enzyme? 什么叫 enzyme? Enzyme actually is a biological catalyst. 它就是生物的催化剂 okay. Produced by the living cell, 你的细胞自己做出来的一种催化剂。But what's mean by catalyst? 什么叫催化剂呢 ？And all enzyme actually they are made up of protein. Enzyme 都是 protein 制造的。Okay, 也就是你吃的蛋白质 protein. Protein digested into amino acid, and the amino acid will be used by your cells to produce the enzymes. Okay, so they are protein. They are made up of protein. Okay, or what's mean by catalyst? You can add on the notes. Page number two. You can add on the notes. Page number two. Catalyst means chemical that can speed up the chemical reactions. 就是能加速化学反应的一些化学物品。Okay. Chemical that can speed up the chemical reaction, 加速化学反应的 ，OK， 一些物品了。Next， 第二句 ，Enzyme speed up the rate of biochemical reactions. Enzyme 加速你的细胞的化学反应 ，OK， but remain chemically unchanged in the end of the reactions. But remain chemically unchanged. 不过呢。它在化学反应发生过后，它自己保持不变。So enzyme help you to start the chemical reaction. 它帮助你去进行化学反应 ，and make your chemical reaction faster， 给你的化学反应比较快。But enzyme itself， 不过 enzyme 它自己啊，不在那个化学反应里面，它只是帮你罢了，它自己没有起化学反应。So enzyme remain chemically unchanged at the end of the reactions. 化学反应发生过后。它自己保持不变 ，OK？ 哦、uh, ，You may highlight the red color words here， 把这些红色的字呢 highlight 起来 ，They are important， 它们都是重要的 ，OK？OK，、okay? okay, next， 再来。The molecule which react with the enzyme catalyzed reaction are called substrates。OK？ So 某某化学物品 ，OK， which react with the enzyme catalyzed reaction are called substrates. So 在那个化学反应里面，如果化学反应里面有 enzymes, OK， 那个化学反应里面的反应体啊 ，we call it as substrate. We call substrate. What the molecule produces at the end of the reaction are called products. OK, so at the end of the enzyme catalyzed reactions, the product forms. Will be called product. 哈，产生的 product 就直接叫 products. Or what is the meaning? 什么意思呢 ？Okay. So copy on your notes. Copy in the box. Substrate. Always mean by substrate in chemistry we call reactant. 呢，就是我们的反应体。Okay. So molecule which react with the enzyme catalyzed reaction they are called substrate. 在那个化学反应里面，如果有 enzyme 出现，它的反应体呢，我们就叫 substrate. Okay. So substrate with the help of the enzymes, 在 enzyme 的帮忙之下 they start the chemical reaction and they speed up the chemical reaction. 它加速化学反应 and finally it making the product. 最后它做的 product 出来 okay. At the end, it making the product. 它做的 product 出来 So substrate with the help of the enzyme to speed up the chemical reaction. Finally, they making the product. 最后它就做的 product 出来 And next. Uh, for example, in example, the enzyme sucrase catalyzes the hydrolysis of the sucrose into glucose and fructose. Okay, so now, so example, you may copy on your notes. So sucrose is a disaccharide. 
Okay, it's a complex sugar, 复杂的糖叫 disaccharides. With the addition of the water, 我们加水给它 And we're going to hydrolyze the sucrose into the fructose plus glucose. 我们把它解散变成 glucose 还有 fructose. But the chemical reaction, we need the help of the enzyme. 呢，不过这种化学反应呢，需要 enzyme 来帮忙 So the enzyme sucrase catalyzes the hydrolysis process of the sucrose into fructose and glucose. Okay, so this whole process is called hydrolysis, dissolution. But the process needs the help of the enzyme. But that process needs the enzyme to help. So sucrose with the help of the water. Okay, sucrose with the addition of the water with the help of the sucrase, it hydrolyzes into glucose and fructose. So in this case, sucrose and water they will be substrate. They will be called substrate. So crease will be the enzymes that speed up the chemical reaction. 加速化学反应的 enzyme. Glucose and fructose they will be the product. 它们就是那个 product 来的 Okay, product. So substrates with the help of the enzyme to speed up the chemical reaction in making the product. 呢，它最后做了 product 出来 Not difficult, is it? Is it? 根本不难再来 Domain creature of the enzymes, domain creature of the enzyme, or naming of the enzymes. So how to call the name of the enzyme? 怎样称呼这些 enzyme 的名字呢？怎样讲它们的名字出来呢 ？Okay, simple, 简单罢了。The name of enzyme are formed by adding the ase s to the main part of the name of the substrate on which they react. Okay, so enzyme 的名字呢，就用 substrate 的名字来做就可以了。So from the name of the substrate, 在 substrate 的名字的后面改一改了，可以改成什么呢 ？As A S E. Okay. An example, 讲多多没有用。Example 马上明白。Maltose, you change the name behind. Maltose is a substrate. So the enzyme that can react with the maltose, maltose, 跟 maltose 起反应的 enzyme, we call maltase, 就叫 maltase 啊。So maltose. Become maltase. Okay, so the enzyme that react with the maltose we call maltase. Sucrose, sucrase. Lactose, lactase. Dema. So just change the name of the substrate. Okay, at the end and add ase 啦，加了一个 ase 在后面 ，it will become the the enzyme. 就会变成 the enzymes. Or any example, protein, protease. 改掉后面的东西。Protein, proteins, lipid, lipid, lipase, 对不对 ？Lipid 变成 lipase. Okay, starch, 淀粉 we call amylose. Okay, amylose change the name behind amylase. Okay, saliva the amylase, coarse 里面的 amylase. Okay, 要不然就 brinkastic amylase, brinkast 放出来的 amylase. So it comes from the name of the starch. 它来自那个淀粉的名字了，加 a s 一张后面。So this is the name of the enzyme. Enzyme 的名字就是这样子做出来。Okay. Next. Mechanism of the enzyme actions. Mechanism of the enzyme actions. Okay. So enzyme 的反应，它的机制是怎样呢 ？So when the enzyme having the chemical reaction, enzyme 在起化学反应的时候，它的 mechanism， 它的机制是怎样的呢 ？Okay. So the mechanism for the enzyme action we call log and key hypothesis. 它的机制，它做工的方法呢，就叫 log and key hypothesis. Okay. So who is a log? 锁头跟锁匙的 hypothesis 啊 ，so who is a lock? Lock actually is the enzyme. Lock 其实就是那个 enzyme you add here. Enzyme and who is a key? 谁是那个 key 呢 ？Key will be the substrate. Key 就是那个反应体了 ，substrate. Okay, you add yourself. 我的 pen 不方便写东西。So lock actually is the enzyme. Key will be the substrate. Okay, 什么叫 lock and key hypothesis? 你的巴西来的哈？ Lock and key hypothesis. Okay, start now. Okay, draw. Okay, 画在你的 notes. This is the enzyme, and this is a substrate. Okay, this is a lock, and this is a key. Lah. Okay, 这个东西叫 lock， 这个东西叫 key. Okay, so enzyme and substrate. Now they're having the chemical reaction. They are doing the chemical reaction. Okay, so substrate oppose the enzyme active sites. Substrate 靠近 enzyme 的 binding site, or you can call it as active site. 
enzyme causing n a g a k i Okay, the substrate opposes the enzyme active site. Always mean by active site. 那这边就叫 active site. Okay, this part. 这边就是 enzyme 的 active sites， or this is a binding site， binding sites， active sites。Okay， remember， just a substrate can fit together with the binding site of the enzyme。Just a substrate can bind together， can fit the active site of the enzyme。只有它能跟它的 active site 刚刚好 fit 罢了。Okay， so the reaction of enzyme actually specific 啦。Enzyme 的反应呢是很针对性的，很特别的。Okay， 只有一种 substrate。跟它起化学反应罢了 ，and others cannot fit 啊，其他的根本不能 fit， 就不能跟它起化学反应。So the reaction of enzyme is specific， 很针对性，很特别的，就是这个原因呢。Because just a substrate can fit on the binding site or active site of the enzyme， 记得这一句话非常好用。OK。So thus, the substrate can fit on the active site of the enzymes. 只有 substrate 能跟它的 active site 呢 bind 在一起。Or this is what we call enzyme reaction is very specific, 很针对性的。Okay, 因为只有它能 fit 不了。And after the enzyme and substrate join together, they fit together. They will become the enzyme substrate complex. 它们就变成了这个东西，就叫 enzyme substrate. Complex and this word actually is very important. It costs you one mark. 它值一分 So enzyme substrate they fit together. 它们 fit 在一起过后 they become the enzyme substrate complex. 这个字非常重要 Okay. So substrate fit exactly into the active site of the enzyme. Subject substrate 准准的 fit 在那个 enzyme 的 active site. No other stuff substrate can fit. 别的 substrate 是根本不能 fit 的。Or in other meaning, the reactions of the enzyme actually is called specific， 很针对性的。Okay? Or one of the past year they just ask like this:、uh, the reaction of the enzyme is specific. Explain this. So you 一直讲这些话了。Just a substrate can fit 了。Okay? So after the after they fit together, the chemical reaction start， 化学反应开始了。Okay? So enzyme still maintain the same. Enzyme 保持不变。Okay? Enzyme maintain the same. Okay? No chemical changes. 没有化学的改变。But what happened to the substrate? Substrate now decompose and become product. 啦，它就被解开，变成 product 了。Okay? So the product are forms. Okay, 我可能挡到你。Bye bye. Product are formed, product 形成的 So enzyme can take part in another reactions. Enzyme still maintain the same, and the enzyme can continue the reactions. Enzyme 可以继续进行它的其他的化学反应 But substrate now become the new product. 不过 substrate 却变成了新的 product. 明白吗 ？Okay. So when we using the enzyme for the in the chemical reactions, the quantity of the enzyme is just a bit only. Enzyme 当它在起化学反应的时候呢，它需要一点点就可以了。Why? Because enzyme are not destroyed at the end of the chemical reactions. 因为在化学反应发生过后 ，enzyme actually is not destroyed. 它没有坏，所以 can continue to take part in the chemical reaction. So the quantity of the enzyme that we need in the chemical reaction normally will be less, lower 啦，不需要太多太多的。So enzyme 一点点就够了。Why? 因为它永远都没有坏。Okay, 除非有温度太高，还是情况其他情况了。Otherwise, enzyme will be maintained the same after the chemical reaction. 化学反应发生过后，它保持不变。Okay, so set the. Bye bye. Okay, next. Okay, for the next slide, we're going to talk about two type of enzymes. 我们将会讲到两种的 enzyme. Intracellular enzyme and extracellular enzyme, always mean by intracellular enzymes, 细胞里面的 enzyme, extracellular enzyme, 细胞外面的 enzyme. Okay, so these two types of enzyme, what are the difference? 它们的差别在哪里呢 ？So we look at another title. 啦，我们去看其他的 video 了。下一个 video, bye bye.